Hello and welcome to the Daily Decrypt episode 20. I am your host, Amanda. Today, Bitcoin is $328. Litecoin is $4.05. Ethereum is $1.05. And Peercoin is $0.42. Cents. Today's episode is brought to you by Free Talk Live. Boom, 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 boom. In crypto news, Follow My Vote is a decentralized autonomous company, or DAC, which lives on the BitShares blockchain. Follow My Vote seeks to provide a fully transparent election tool, which is mathematically auditable by all participating voters. The DAC's founder, Adam Burnest, has been invited to present his beta software to thousands of attendees at the sold-out event Web Summit, taking place in Dublin, November 3rd to 5th. No announcements have been made regarding a live stream coming from Web Summit during the event, so the Daily Decrypt encourages Adam to film his presentation and upload it online. In more crypto news, manufacturing company Satoshi Labs is giving away a free Trezor hardware wallet in a campaign to teach people how the device works. Trezor wallets provide cold storage to Bitcoins, Litecoins, Mazacoins, and Dash, but when connected to an internet-enabled device, allow the user to spend from the cold storage. The entry form for the Trezor giveaway is located at the top of the Coindesk article linked in the description. In more crypto news, BitShares delegate Fav is raffling off 1,000 BitShares on a bi-monthly basis. There are nine days left in the current raffle, and users can submit themselves to the drawing up to 14 times by doing things like downloading a BitShares wallet, watching an educational video, or retweeting Fav, him, or her, self. The link to enter this drawing is also located in the description. In software news, market simulation app SparkProfit allows users to make predictions on the future prices of currencies and commodities. Correct predictions earn users points within the free app. Each week, the users with the most points are paid out in real money, with Bitcoin withdrawals as an included option. Spark Profit is able to pay for correct predictions as they themselves invest in the predictions of their most talented users. In security news, today the beta version of the long-awaited Tor Messenger has been released. Tor Messenger functions similarly to chat clients like Pigeon and Adium, which allow users to encrypt their conversations while using popular sites like Facebook, Twitter, and Google Talk. Tor Messenger hopes to be an easier-to-use alternative while offering the added benefit of obscuring users' IP addresses via the Tor network. In networking news, TechDirt reports that Google Fiber is now actively competing with ISPs in Kansas City, Austin, and Provo, totaling about 100,000 paying customers. Google Fiber is also being lain in Salt Lake City, San Antonio, Nashville, Atlanta, Charlotte, and Raleigh. The service offers gigabit level speeds, which many see as a welcome option as data caps are being imposed by ISPs like Comcast. And the Bitcoin subreddit today tweeted that over $1 billion in Bitcoin has been traded within the last 24 hours alone. And if you're jonesing for more crypto and tech news over the weekend, take note that our sponsor, Free Talk Live, will be covering both Keenvention's Bitcoin panel today and tech panel on Sunday. Links to Free Talk Live's coverage are also located below. And that has been your Daily Decrypt. Remember that subscribing to this channel and sharing our videos curries good favor with the crypto gods. I swear. Oh. Boom, 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 boom.